Hey everyone, my name is Jacob. So today is May the 4th, which is Star Wars Day because of May the 4th be with you. Very good plan words. But anyway, I'm a really big fan of Star Wars. I've just recently expressed this in my videos because I really didn't have a chance to, no reason to, um, but I finally have had the chance to express that to you guys during this quarantine. And yeah, I'm the biggest fan of it. And one thing I'm a really big fan of is Star Wars The Clone Wars The Animated Series. This is the biggest thing to me in my childhood. My whole childhood was like about this show. Um, that was like my favorite show in my childhood. And it's just the biggest deal that, that this new season is out. And now it's completely done. So we're gonna be talking about my reactions to the finale episode, as well as some childhood memories based upon Star Wars, The Clone Wars, the animated series. So I'm officially saying right now, there's a spoiler warning in effect. If you do not want to be spoiled for this entire season and specifically the finale episode that aired today, go to the time code in the description and it'll jump to whenever there are no more spoilers and I talk about um, stuff from my childhood about the Clone Wars. But um, yeah, let's get straight into it. My favorite episode of the Clone Wars probably ever. I, it is so good. These past four episodes are amazing. The ones before kind of like building up to this episode were kind of odd. I was like, what's going on? I don't really see a point. Like, I don't really see much of a point in introducing us to the Bad Batch and all of the um, uh, stuff with Ahsoka. You know, I mean, Ahsoka at least had some tie into the story where she was like, okay, I'm going to go help out the Mandalorians now. But I mean, the Bad Batch really didn't have much. Echo was nowhere to be seen ever again. And I don't know, it, it was just, it was just kind of like filler episodes in my opinion. But these last four episodes were absolutely amazing. I will remember them forever. I am such a big fan of them. Like I said, absolutely amazing. And um, I mean, the episode before the finale with Order 66 chills the entire time. My heart was like pounding because you know it's about to happen. But then you just have to wait for it to happen. But anyway, we're going to be talking about this finale episode. Wow. I mean, so, so good. So many things have happened. I mean, um, just Rex, like having to take on his brother's is absolutely insane. Like have seeing that, like, cause whenever you see order 66 in effect in the movie, you don't really think about the emotional side to it because there wasn't any emotional side. They had to basically build up an emotional side to Anakin and Padme and all that stuff so much that they didn't even have time to like really think about how the clones would be affected by this. Um, and all, not the clones, but like the, the Jedi are affected by their clones turning on them. And like, cause you know, like in the attack of the clones in episode three, there isn't that much relationship between the Jedi and the clones. But with this little Star Wars The Clone Wars series, um, it shows so much emotion between the clones and um, the Jedi that it really just means so much more. And Rex turning, or not turning on his brothers, but you know, his brothers turning on him basically was crazy. Um, and just that, that scene where ah Ahsoka takes off his helmet is just so emotional. And um, it's just it's just absolutely insane. Um, I'm a very big fan of how Maul played out in this series. Um, I'm a very big fan of Maul. I wasn't in the Phantom Menace just because I don't like the Phantom Menace. But whenever they introduced him back into the Clone Wars, I was such a big fan of him. And I haven't seen Rebels, so I can't really vouch for that. But I'm just a very big fan of Maul. Um, he's, I love how in this season, he's sort of like an anti-hero in a way because he's not for the separatists he's not for the republic he's kind of just in the middle like not just kind of figure out what's going on and um yeah I, i'm you go more attached to him as the series goes on and like i said i haven't seen rebels so maybe they already invoked that in rebels but in the clone wars they haven't yet and um that was just i mean i guess they, they sort of did but um not not as much as they did in this season but yeah um i loved how it ended so depressing everyone died and is exactly how it needs to be i was just like oh my gosh this is the best ending to this series because it is so depressing and then a new hope comes in which is like just so amazing how all that stuff happens and then there's a new hope and i mean it just makes the new hope so so much better it's so just like so depressing i mean it's absolutely insane. I, Vader being there at the end, like with picking up her lightsaber, just like 
it was so depressing. I don't know. I don't, I don't have anything else to say other than how depressing that was. And it was so good. Like the, I know like normally you don't think, Oh, depressing is good. But like, this was, this was like, it was perfect for the show. I'm so, I'm like the biggest fan of how it ended. Um, that's kind of my reaction to the finale episode. Um, just the, I don't know. It, it was just, it was classic Star Wars, the Clone Wars. And yeah, just props to everyone there. Um, for these last four episodes, they were so good. Um, if you're wondering how to watch them, they're on Disney plus. Um, yeah, they, uh, now that you kind of know how it ends, um, there's still a reason to watch it. It's so good. Anyway, let's talk about my childhood and how the Clone Wars affected me as, as in my childhood. Let me kind of put this out there. I did not watch any other cartoons except for the Clone Wars and Avengers Assemble. I think that's what it was called. It's just crazy that it's been going on basically since I was like a very young child and I've been watching it since then and now I'm 18 and still watching it and still enjoying it. I actually don't remember how I got introduced to it. I don't know if it was my dad or something, but um, because I, I mean, I was young, I didn't really know anything about like um, going on Cartoon Network and watching this show specifically. But um, the it was the biggest part of my childhood for whatever reason, I remember specifically the episode where Rex gets shot and this um, rogue, I guess not rogue, but he kind of left the Republic clone, kind of takes care of him and his wife take care of him. I don't know why that episode just really sticks out to me. Um, the Ventress, I mean, so many different things in this that just played out in my life. If, if I ever like imagined something, you know how kids like imagine stuff like they play like um they play house or whatever me it was in the woods by myself playing with lightsabers which were sticks that was the biggest part of my childhood with star wars and especially the clone wars the i i can't get past how big of a fan i am and just i really just wanted to make this video to just thank dave filoni and all of the people behind star wars the clone wars they i mean just such a good show such a good series um I mean, yeah, I, I, my, like I said, my childhood was based upon this show. Like I watched this so much during my childhood that like my everything else from my childhood is kind of extended from that. Like, like I said, like imagination, like so much imagination has come from that um, in my childhood. Like I said, playing by myself in the woods. I didn't have any friends. So I was by myself playing by myself with lightsabers, lightsabers and being clones. And you know, it's just... It's just crazy. I, I mean, this show has been out. When, it, when has it been out since? 2008. So this show has been out since 2008. I was six years old. So I probably didn't start watching it until a little bit later in the down the line. But I mean, wow, that it that is crazy to me that that this is that has been with me basically since I can remember me watching this show. And I I mean, it's so sad that it's come to an end, but. The ending is just so great and I'm so happy that it ended on May the 4th. Like that's just like so cool to me. But um yeah, I mean, gosh, it's crazy like just rethinking childhood memories and like enjoy your childhood because it doesn't last forever. I know you want to get older and I'm still only 18, but I know you want to get older, but even now at 18, I regret wanting to get older and wanting it all to be over because now I just want to go back to it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great May the 4th. I'm going to be doing some stuff um, for May the 4th, uh, Star Wars related. So um, there might be a video tomorrow about it. I don't know if I have enough content. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this was just such a great video to recount everything. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below your experience with Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed chatting with you all about this. Um, yeah. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.